What is good, y'all? SGG family, baby. We are back with yet another Lions Rebuild. It's your boy, Coach Smooth. Back into the gaming shirt as we go ahead and get ready to continue the season with Detroit in season two after a great week one. If you guys just need a reminder, you guys missed last episode. We pulled off a great victory here, 26 to nine. Touchdowns came later in the game. So, I mean, offense was kind of struggling to start off with, but I was very impressed with what everything had to go on. We got a new playbook in, we got a new quarterback in, but the same offensive weapons around him, we saw a much better, I feel like, DeAndre Swift than we had ever seen last season. Two touchdowns right off the back, four yards to carry. Passing game kind of suffered a little bit. I don't know if that's because of a better run game, uh, but we'll kind of see how that goes. And the defense played way, they played like Lions last game, where they were getting to the quarterback, two and a half sacks here from Romeo. You can see a whole gang of uh, sacks after that. And we we're also getting a couple of turnovers, three interceptions, I'm kind of spreading the love around. Also one from Ricky Jose Harrison, which you guys got still let me know. I'm batch recording this, but let me know down below. He had the camp standout thing. They wanted him to get two sacks and two sacks for losses. He ended up getting one tackle for loss and an interception. Should I still boost his development? Whenever we find out what it is, I'm not going to go touch it now because that's going to spoil what his hidden development is. But whenever we find out what it is, should we boost it up for him? You know, let me know down below. I feel like that's probably like a spoiler that he's not at least superstar X Factor, but he can still be like a superstar or a star development that could you know boost him up or at least get him a little bit of XP. Maybe get maybe do like a couple of upgrade points or something. Let me know what you guys think is fair down below, and we'll kind of rock with that. But today, I want to see how well he sims as well because I want to get into Kansas City. They actually won their week one matchup, unlike Atlanta. So we want to get into that game over this one. So we'll see how well the team sims. You know, when I'm not controlling everything, see how well they play, see if they're able to go on a two game winning streak to kind of start the year off. Now, I'm not worried about this team often or run or pass, except their run game is pretty bad in the 30th. I think I got to go with the run inside focus this time. Slick, I think I got to go with the run inside focus. That run, 30th in the league in rushing, they gave 144 yards last week. And we're just coming off a pretty good running performance ourselves. Yeah, I need that. I'm going to go for the three turnovers. Let's go out less than 20 points. Should we? I'm going to leave the goals where they at. Well, except for this one. I'm going to get the 15 first downs real quick. Uh, but I'm going to leave the goals where they at. We're going to see. Can I pull off that much offense and that much good defense here against Atlanta? I, I want to see how well they see him. I want to see if Dwayne Thomas puts up better throwing stats in this game. Looks like Levi will be out of the game with a hip pointer. So one more injury. Remember, we have a starting offensive lineman that is still hurt this week. So not going to be at 100%. It's like we're not even going to be at like 95%. Nah, I'd say probably about, yeah, not even 95%. We got like 94 point six percent as far as our strength goes we're missing one of our stars on the defensive line and one of our offensive linemen as well a couple of upgrades here before the beginning of the game remember the hero of last game ronnie harrison jr putting that dagger into the opposing team's back and let's look at some of his attributes here 80 zone what's that man coverage talking about 76 man not too bad 77 tackle with 89 hit power obviously he doesn't have the best block shit but these are solid, very, very solid numbers. Like, I'm surprised that all these only attribute to a 79 overall. So I'm going to keep upgrading his run support as he is. I think the zone coverage is good enough at 80. I'm not mad at it. And we get a plus one to it anyway. Plus two to his play rec, plus one to his press. Maybe he should have to come down, play one-on-one -on -one -on -one to slot or a tight end. So I'm not going to be mad at getting any kind of press attributes. Javion Hawkins here, who developmental running back. I like some of his attributes as a backup. I think he can potentially take over. Mostly the 90 speed, 94 acceleration, 88 agility. Still has a lot of other stuff to work on. His ability to break tackles, spin moves, stiff arms. His strength overall is kind of lacking, but he's not a power back. And then we got uh, honorary. If there was a six lineman of the year award, I feel like Evan Brown would have gotten it. He played all over the offensive line. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep upgrading. Let's get him a scheme fit with his agile upgrade right here. So we can get a little bit more XP as well as Get his overall up a little bit. I guess this is karma for mocking them, huh? 42 to 10? What went wrong? We we had a lot of passing yards. We did better there. Rush, we gave him 167 on the ground. Is my rush defense that bad? This is not smooth defense. Yeah, we gotta get that run support a little bit. I know I've kind of focused a little bit more on our pass rushing, but we still gotta have good run support from linebackers to defensive tackles, all that. Wayne Thomas, two more picks here, no touchdowns. Three times getting sacked. What was he, 24, 31 in the day, so completion percentage was pretty low. And one of the passer ratings down there. Desmond Riller kind of went off for us a little bit. And then, of course, that boy caught up. I knew I should have guarded against the run, actually. Quarter passing, 22 for 98 in touchdown. Desmond Riller actually getting active 
out of the quarterback spot. And this time, DeAndre Swift went ghost. I put it as a run heavy first focus on offense, and he let me down. Now, of course, we were probably down big in this game, so there's no room to kind of focus on the run. But let's get these receiver stats. DJ Chark, four for 70. Amon Ra, five for 68. Jameson, kind of quiet. I mean, this is about what we've seen, though, in the past. You know, three guys kind of go off. One person's kind of left out. And this time, it looks like it was just our tight end, two top two receivers. So I have to work on that just a little bit more. You see Harrison there later with eight tackles, all of them solo. Hutchinson and Fontu with sacks, but we got to play better defense. Now, this one was on the defense. Now, obviously, we want to score more points. We don't need two turnovers. But we shouldn't be giving up 42 points. And from one high scoring offense to the next, apparently, as we now got to go against Kansas City Chiefs. Mr. Patrick Mahomes himself, 544 yards already through two games. And we got to go somehow shut down their pass game. We weren't even able to do it successfully for ours. Now, before we get into that, we've got our regional scouting focus, of course, kind of setting this up to where uh, they are in their exact regions. So let me take care of this real quick. I don't want you all to sit here while I'm sitting and thinking. Let's look at the finalized product at the end. Here's what I got coming up out of this. So I will put my West uh, scout on offensive tackles. It matched up, you know, pretty well. The strengths in the West region are both right and left tackles. So I went ahead and took that. Same thing for the central outside linebacker. There's a big focus on left outside linebacker over there. So I'm gonna let him go and take care of that. Now these two are the problem childs, as both of them had weaknesses and no strengths. So I went and just let him do his thing with defensive tackles for that 15% boost in the Northeast. At least it gives us some of them with that should be pretty highly uh some pretty high percentages over there in the southeast we will get uh no boost here we're just gonna go for wide outs because it was a strength in this area so i figured you know why not just go ahead and put it as a strength area uh offensive tackles are not strong out here i got somebody doing that already defensive ends are actually weak over here and you know unfortunately as far as national goes the weaknesses are the entire interior line so left right guard and center and the strengths happen to be left outside linebacker and the tackles so pretty weird strengths and weaknesses i would say but we'll make it work as far as the national one now i don't know what to do since there's no receiver or corner i'll probably still just leave my corners for the nationals even though it's not a strength and uh see what we're able to find and the first mock draft is out of course let's see what they have your boy actually have your boy picking 30th hey i'm not mad at it they think we're gonna be way back here so they got us getting cornerback corn nicks uh, cornerback out of Miami, around one or two projections, 30% scouted right now. C press D zone, so I hope he's a man to man corner. Uh, solid to good speed. Looks like he's just about above average, I think. Solid to good. So, average to a little bit above average in all of his uh, physiques, his athleticism. But yeah, oh, D injury too. My boy about to be injury for me. What are, what are some of these? Uh, Savvy defender with ball in the air, has motor to play, good whistle, often looks to rip ball from runners, lacks discipline. I don't like, I, hey, look, you remember that one game when we almost had the PR? Ooh, y'all remember last season? If y'all remember last season, first of all, go check out the TikTok because it was over there on TikTok, link down below in the description. Uh, but you don't remember this play? And it's cost them the ball game here. Oh my gosh, that boy got double teamed on the ground. Oh, dang. Dang, what are they doing to Amy Hutchinson, bro? Oh, there's a flag. Who hit the quarterback? What? I've never seen a pass interference on a Hail Mary. I almost ripped my whole hair out, bro. And I got dreads. That would hurt. Look at the top of the draft. That looks like they got a pretty defensive heavily. Three edge rushers here. You got a left end, Manuel Calvio. Locked outside linebacker, Todd Folk. And then right end, Braden Sherman. Not too bad, though. A power move. B tackling there. So, I mean... He's, he's a bona fide pass rusher, at least with a power move. That's definitely going to be top five time. Boss going to be lucky to get that. But look at all this. Nothing but left outside linebackers. All right. So nothing but edge rushers in this entire top part. Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the top ten are edge rushers. You want to stretch that a little bit farther? We can say eight, nine, 10, 11 of the top 15 are edge rushers. You got a safety cracking it in, an offensive tackle, two offensive tackles and a QB. Denario Bates here, B short, B deep accuracy, not too bad. Six, four out of Illinois will take calculated risks. Beautiful spiral, gets rid of ball, first sign of pressure. Does want to avoid sacks while throwing the ball away, but it looks like he's gonna be getting rid of it quick. So even if he's not there, he's not gonna hold it a little bit longer to make the great play. 
So we'll see what that kind of does. Great to elite strength, throw power, marginal to decent speed. So he's not going to be a scrambler by any means. But he looks like he is going to go have some decent accuracy, B play action, good, great to elite throw power. He's going to be a pretty good prospect. So we'll see if the commanders end up taking him. We just played him too. And if they're really ready to get up, give up on um, Sam Howell just because of what we did to him, I, I don't know. I mean, I didn't think we held him that much in check. Getting into the weekly strategy, we have to do better. We know they're going to pass the ball. So defending the medium pass, I'm not even mad at that one. Now, their run defense is terrible. Last week, we went on a run heavy focus, and y'all didn't produce much. Uh, but this time, I think I'm going to align with it. I'm going to inside run once again, set up my little game plan goals here. You know, oh, oh, oh. We are not allowing 10 points or less to the Chiefs. We'll be lucky to hold them under 50. This is going to be a shootout. Honestly, I probably should have put pass. So that way we could have had a shootout. Because I don't know what this game about to be. Can Dwayne Thomas handle his first shootout? This is going to be a, a really big test for him. Going up against Patrick Mahomes. Early in the season. We're 1-1. One one, trying to figure out where we are. As far as the team. Are we going to be in the playoff hunt? Are we still in our rebuilding phase? But you can still be in the rebuilding phase while being in the playoff hunt. Don't let that confuse you. Until you've made it to at least the conference championship round. You're still in rebuild mode. You, you still... <laughs> I don't care what you say, you are still in rebuild mode if you have not made it to the conference championship. So even if we make it there, you still gonna be looking to do that. Now I'm gonna go straight up, upgrade his agile, make sure Kurt is getting as good as possible. From the fourth round to the starting lineup, I need him as good as possible, but this is gonna be a good test for us. I think we should then be all healthy. Let me just look at the injury report briefly. We're completely healthy as far as Kansas City. Are they facing any injuries, please? Missing on Trent McDuffie, so a star corner. So that should leave at least one of our receivers able to get open all game. So I don't know. Scouting reports have been set. If we need to change it to a pass focus at halftime, we will. But let's go ahead and go see if we can take down Kansas City and Patrick Mahomes. Get to it, man. We get straight to it. Coming out first on offense, Dwayne Thomas leading the way. And I love it. First down. Pass. I even put a run focus. I haven't changed the playbook that much. I took out a couple of like bad first down runs. That was it. But yeah, no, Darius Need just read that one like a book. He took it right from Williams. That was rather quick. Now we gotta already start out by stopping this def uh, this offense. Patrick McCombs coming out, already getting active to his running backs. No receivers out there, so we're gonna see what these running backs got. It's like he gets it right out to more first play. That's already a first down into the red zone. Come on, get a blitz in there or something. Up, draw play up the middle. Come on, nope. Y'all better not start getting up them run yards. Everybody will be doing suicides. I, I'm telling you. Second and eight from the 10 yard line. Looks like they're taking up a lot of play clock, too. Four man pressure. Nobody's able to get there. He dumps it out to his sure handed tight end, Travis Kelsey. That yeah, is Kelsey, right? I don't see no X Factor. Oh, no, that's great. This be the backup tight end or something. Throws out this time to Kelsey for the touchdown as Kansas City takes an early 7 0 lead. Oh, what is that dance move, though? We ain't even two minutes into the ball game and already down bad. It's okay, though. We can respond back. Just got to be calm and pop and poised in the pocket. I was about to say passionate or something. I don't know what word I was about to say. But there you go. Get a completed pass. Calm yourself down. You're okay. We've got the team around you to, to build you up. There you go. Read option. I love it. Get to the outside. Hold on to that rock. They're not going to be ready for it. Read options. I need them. Pistol. Strong, I think that's what that one's called. Three, two backs in the backfield. Throws it out to the curl route. That's Amon Ross St. Bound. Welcome back. We missed our number one target in week or in the first video of the season. Obviously, he got to play last time, but we didn't get to see him. So let's see him show out today. He should have a pretty good matchup with only one good corner out there in Sneed. Uh oh, 
Blitzes over the rookie guard, and he's able to take down Dwayne Thomas. Kurt Milligan could not hold his own and just got bullied into the floor. Maybe I do need to work on his pass pro because that wasn't it. But he does have an X-Factor right over him. What? Who let this matchup happen? There he goes out to the screen, and that's why he's an X-Factor. He knows when to read screens and when not to. Just like that is third and 23. Chandler Jones himself has wrecked the entire offense. Looked like he wanted to run, but finds a late receiver. DeAndre Swift dropped the rock? It wouldn't have been a first down, but that would have been a lot of yards. Oh, he on the catch and drill all week when we get back to practice. Come on, good coverage now. Good. Hey, there we go. Oh, don't miss your tackles. We're going to need you today, defense. If the off I think that was a great play. Thomas looked like he wanted to run it, then we're, you know, calmed himself back down, got back in the throwing position to get that one out. You just can't drop his pass, though. You were wide open. So that's not going to strike us from the defense, though. Second and one. Pat Mahomes causing a little receiver motion here. Fakes the handoff there. Goes to his running back, and we're all over. That's a great read. Jose Harrison getting down. I don't know why we're looking at Jeff Okadu. That was definitely Jose Harrison making that play. Come on, four-man pressure. I need somebody to get there. Ah, nobody's there in time. Down the field, one-on-one. Yes, it's picked off. Mike Hughes gets it off the tip, going up the field. and gets taken down at the 50, so we'll get great field starting percentage uh, position. I'm all discombobulated. I can't believe that boy just hit that dance move. But look at Pat Mahomes trying to sling that one out there. Great coverage. Knocking the ball loose. And Hughes picks it off. Now let's go turn up for a score, man. Shotgun from Aston Cluster here. Running back opposite of the trips at the top. All day to throw. Finds his receiver. Wide open. Nobody even close to Monroe. Trying to fight for the first. Gets this up to the 37. Not too bad this season so far. Seven receptions. 91 yards. In his first game back. Five for 68. Today already two catches and two targets. Second in inches. Read option once again. Oh, you got to get a better block than that. There you go. Shrug off a tackler. And gets taken down. But I need a better block. I really don't know my offensive line. But that was left tackle Tyler Decker. Just threw a shoulder. Like he was a defender or something, bro. Like, give me a block. You're supposed to know how to block. All day to throw finds TJ Hawkins. It gets a block from DeAndre Swift. He didn't. An unnecessary juke. Because he probably didn't trust his teammate. That's what we got to do. We got to do team bonding. There's not enough trust in this building, I feel like. There goes another straight handoff up the middle. DeAndre Swift. Forward progress should be a first down, his first carry of the game. And we've actually driving this time. All it takes is a turnover to help out with morale. Quick drop back, finds his target over the middle. And that's Amon Ra again. Six for eight, 42 yards. We haven't seen him go down the field except for one time, and it was to the running back. There you go on the, ah, no, set your feet. Kind of worried by me about Chandler Jones coming up the middle. Looks like he switched sides this time, so we already have a little bit more favorable matchup. Blitz coming in. Throw goes out quick. There's DJ Chark Jr. holding it down for him. And Tyler Decker. Looks like his stomach is hurting. My boy might just have to boo-boo. He'll come back in the game, though. That'll bring in former center, Mike Swift. We moved over to left tackle to be the backup. All day to throw. He throws it out of the run. He probably could have took off if he's more decisive with it. Maybe scored, but... Throws it away. That's way better than the sack. Second and goal, eight yards away. Drop back, looking. Can't find anybody, and Mike Swift gives up the sack. I don't know if Eric Decker would have did any better, but I'm just saying, first play in. It's him and the left guard, both of them. Everybody need to work on pass blocking. Now we got third and goal. Staying under center, finds a... Nice easy dump off to DJ Chark. It's just trying to get a little bit of yards. It looks like we'll have to take three on our first drive, but it's our first points. So we got to be positive. Let's get one more defensive drive in. We didn't show defense enough love last episode. So let's, let's see what they got. Maybe something to be proud about. Three-man rush here. Not getting their swing out to the halfback. I think that is Edwards Hilaire still in the backfield for them, right? Little swing route to him. Gets them a nice gain of six to start off the drive. Still three more here. Tries to swing it out with a run to him and get him in the backfield. Three rushes, negative two yards. He's not going anywhere. Oh, right up the middle. Let's go. 
untouched. Are you serious? That is rookie Clinton. Straight up the middle, untouched. Almost getting his first sack of the game. I know I said one more, but I, I got to come back and watch this. We've had two really good defensive stops. I got to see the offense capitalize. First and 10. Drop back, clean pocket, just... All right, I gotta, I gotta know, cause I, I need to know who to blame, right? I, I don't know if it's the play calling per se, if it's, if it's the playbook. I, I, I don't know. Let me go look at the instant replays. Nobody open. I mean, I love to see you just hit the drag routes, just rather than take a sack. I love waiting to go down the field. That post route is covered. The wheel is covered. Yeah, his only option is to go to the drag, but instead of doing that, he just takes a sack. Maybe it's, I mean, he's trying to make a play. Maybe he's a little nervous. Oh, no. Jamison Williams is at tight end, and Hawkinson is out of the far wide receiver. All day to throw in the pocket. He finally gets it out. That's DJ Chark Jr. with the catch. Weird formation, but it ended up working. Maybe the confusion is a good thing. Third and six, we have I formation. Dropping back, rolling out of the pocket. He's looking downfield, throws it away. I gotta go up to the booth before I get a heart attack and hope that we have some good luck back on our side uh, to at least keep this game close and make it to where there's something attainable for Dwayne Thomas to go after. Yeah, this is gonna be a long day. Patrick Mahomes touchdown there to Robinson. And just like that, we're down 14 to three, but hopefully we can start to put together some, there we go. There's the, there's the rushing that I was wondering where it disappeared to. Rush heavy focus, and we were barely running the ball. There we go. Good mix. And 15 yard touchdown to Mon Ross St. Brown. Look, there we go. We got some offense moving now. It, it just took Sky Moore is destroying. I, who's supposed to be on Sky? Sky and Duncan Robinson are just going off on our uh, DBs. That just shows you the defense really has a lot to work on in this game. Those are two back to back drives of just domination. Now, let's see if we can get close. Making something good to watch here before half. Uh, it is moving. I don't know where the defense went that actually was holding, but they, 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 defense has a lot to work on. We, we got to get better at scoring on offense, but that's the, they've had six drives and they've scored on four. Yeah, we got to do a little bit better. Third and four here, 10 yard penalty to back us up. They got the ball right back. I gotta come in to see this. Cause I did not see them getting all these jars when I was watching. So who's giving them up? I need to know who so I can know what areas we fixing. That was just a cluster fluff. First and 10, start of the fourth quarter, down 18. And they'll go with their run. Probably a run heavy focus to end out this game, which might play into our favor. To at least give us a chance to get back into this. Clyde Elvis Hiller has not done a good job running the ball against us. But two okay runs have them set up with the third and two. Patrick Mahomes will go under center. Let's send a blitz in to get him. Run will go to the outside. Nobody's there. We clean. We gang up on him, but just a little bit too late. Jose Harrison just read it a little too slow. Love to see him fly around and make some more plays, but it's just not happening right now. First and ten. And off once again up the middle. Clyde Edward Hiller finds an opening gap and takes it 10 yards to put them in goal territory. And it looks like just that quick, they're about to put up some more points. This is why I've never liked the 3-4. I feel like the 3-4 is terrible against stopping the run. Like it's just so hard to get that good run support, run pass balance. So if you get stuck in a position where you guys got good pass rush, but they actually are able to pass on you and then I start running the ball, you're screwed. There he goes, look, no pass rush. Back corner, get the pick. Oh, my boy got Butterfingers. I think that was uh, Dean over there on that side, newly acquired free agent. Let the ball slip right through his hands. No pressure on Patrick Mahomes going into the end zone and he finds his receiver in double coverage borderline. That is Sky Moore once again going off. I think he's the backup running back. He has been eating today. We got to score to make this competitive. To even have a chance to come back, we got to score right here. 
So Dwayne Thomas throws a pick right to the lock. safety. Did not see Nick Bolton sitting right there in front of him. Wow. Just like that, this, this ball game is basically over. S lurked it, right? Sitting right there. Looked like he might have been coming on a blitz and then held up last second to get the interception. That's a smart play. To, to a team I expected and to a team I didn't expect at the same time. Patrick Mahomes went on for six touchdowns against us. One interception, 311 yards. I love the yards coming from Dwayne Thomas. I love the fact that he actually threw for a touchdown, but the interceptions, the turnovers got to be limited. Good running game here. We just didn't have the time to actually work in it effectively. Oh, Scott Moore is a receiver with number 24. And he just tore the roof off of us today. So. Defense has to get fixed. I love my big three here still. Jameson even getting some work through 48, but it is down with the injury, so we'll have to check on that when we get out the game as well. Look at that. Penny Sewell is supposed to be my right, my superstar right tackle. Again with three sacks today. Ariston, 13 tackles, seven assisted. He was all over the field flying around. Exception for Mike Hughes. Look at the tackles for loss, but somebody is to blame for this coverage. I don't know if it was Jamal Dean. I don't know if it was Jeff Okadu. But somebody coverage game is, is severely lacking. Coach, your team has struggled out the gate so far. What? And when it happens, a lot of blame is on, usually plays on the quarterback who needs to step up the team. Dwayne Thomas needs to do better about the interceptions, but defense is giving up back-to-back -back games of 40 plus points. Regardless of the interceptions and stuff like that, 40, 40 plus points is not okay. So we're not gonna place that blame on him. Looks like it's player negotiation time. We can kind of look and see. Looks like what we expected about 83 million in cap space. TJ Hawkinson with some medium interest. Jeremy Swift with no interest. Jamal Hawkins with all the interest. Mila Walker, of course. Jonah Jackson, Romeo Okawara, Charles Harris. Some of our receiver depth, our kicker, Riley Patterson there. Looks like mostly depth players. So it looks like we can maybe be active, honestly, in free agency. Maybe we can make up quickly for some of these moves. This is what getting your rookie quarterback kind of helps and allows you to be able to do is go out of free agency and kind of build that team up. If you're close, if we think we're close, that is when you want to strike your free agency. And I don't know if we're close, but time will tell us the season moves on. Uh, but right now, I'm I'm kind of debating. I don't know if maybe it's my playbook on the offense that's allowing him to play the way he is. So I think next game, we'll watch this back bounce back game against the Raiders for sure. I'm going to run the original Dallas offense, none of my edits into it, and we'll see if he plays better than that. We'll see if maybe it's just me. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's Coach Moo. But if they play the same or worse, it ain't me. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and let that be known. Because we're playing an 0-3 team, so that'll be the game that we check out next time, and we'll get into the season a little bit more, probably simply through the Panthers and Packers, because uh, that should be just game one against the Packers. We will see our divisional opponents this year, because we have yet to see any of them. Packers in week six and eleven straight up the bye week. Vikings at nine and thirteen, and Bears are twelve and fifteen. Okay, so no divisional games kind of end the season uh, that last month basically. But yeah, back to back games of 40, 40 points. That I don't know where that came from. We just gave up nine in week one to the Commanders. So I don't know what happened. So we'll look to get it right. We'll come back next episode stronger, better. Now let's go ahead and look at some of these stats here. Your first three games, you know, not too bad, not too big of a stat up there. But Dwayne Thomas, one touchdown, five interceptions. We gotta clean that up. Uh, but 658 yards isn't too bad. Swift, 4.3 a carry. We're actually getting some run support from Dwayne Thomas as well. Receivers, obviously, I know we gotta pass the ball better. I want it to be a pass block. I want him to have 300, 400 yards. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get him there though. Let me go check my injuries to see if Jamison Williams' injury was a long-term one. not all right well that just about covers it man we will go ahead and get through at least week six next time out maybe week seven depending on if we go on a huge losing streak if we win a couple games and maybe we'll pause it right after that but only time will tell for that so if you guys are ready for the next video man make sure you guys hit a like comment subscribe down below if you guys are ready for more also comment to uh no we already got a comment from the beginning of the video so just go ahead and leave that comment down below uh and we'll be all gucci you know what i'm saying i want to see more 
action from you guys. I want to see more interaction from you guys. I want you guys to give feedback. I'm going to listen to it and you know, incorporate it as long as it is good and just talk with you guys. So I would love some feedback. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Love every single, every one of y'all. I know that don't make sense, but it will in the future. I promise. Just wait till you get older. <laughs> but I'll catch you guys in the next week. It's me, your boy Coach Move, aka SGG, the King of Games. And I'll catch you guys next time, man. I'm out.